Oh, cool. And then we can see it's recording. Sorry, I'm eating Skittles. Hey, everybody. So I'm here with my nephew, Kamari. Tell him where we're at, Kamari. We're in the house. In what state? Georgia. We are not in Georgia. We're in Florida. Uh uh. Yes, we are. We're in Michigan. We're in Michigan. We're in Florida <laughs> at a, a family friend's house for Thanksgiving. So we're enjoying the weather today. I'm it's ready little... for Black Friday. That's tomorrow. Me too. I'm going to get a guitar. How does that dance go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I wish you guys had a silent. <laughs> So y'all got to witness that, that mess. Anyway, so we're about to enjoy a nice Thanksgiving meal out here in Florida. Uh, the weather is nice and cool, so we're kind of sitting outside right now in this little sunroom, waiting on Thanksgiving dinner to be ready. There's ribs. Um, yes. Seafood. Yes. And cornbread. I'm We're non-traditional. Yeah. She won't share her food. So. I will not share my food with him. I say, you get your own plate. There's and she's going to drink beer. I have a holiday stout with my name on it waiting on me. What you going to drink? Orange juice. Oh, no. Cranberry water. Cranberry water is so good. I don't know what cranberry water is. It's but... like, like, you know, that's, it's like mixed berry flavored water, but a little sweeter and with a cranberry aftertaste. I might have to try one of those. So, hope y'all having a, a good Thanksgiving because we're about to throw down on this meal. Thanksgiving dinner out here. It was really good. It's good to sit down with family and friends and enjoy a good Thanksgiving meal and think about everything that you're thankful for. Um, 2018 has been a great year. You know, we we didn't get to travel as much as we had planned, um, but we've got to see and do and experience a lot of amazing things in Georgia and in the Atlanta area. And so like even taking little trips like this, you know, um, so I'm just very thankful for that. I'm thankful for, you know, the, the lifestyle that we're able to live that allows us the freedom to travel, you know, and and not miss out on things. And so it's been a lot of fun. Uh, the year's not over yet. There's still some things we can do and accomplish uh, and I'm looking forward to it. I will say I do miss my family. It's hard to be away from family right now. And in our original plan, we were supposed to either be back for Thanksgiving or Christmas. We, me and Erica, we like to alternate and do either Thanksgiving with her family or with mine and vice versa. So I think this year um, I'm going to spend both with Erica's family. Uh, but I did get to see my family last week. I flew back out to Texas, spent a week and a half out there. Uh, got to spend time with my, my brother and my sister. Um, my aunts, uh, my grandma, my parents, my niece, got to see some friends and just hang out, you know, and, and, and it was really good because I do feel a little homesick sometimes. Anyway, it's been a good time. Uh, we're just going to enjoy the rest of our time here. We're going to spend what? I think we're going to be here for the next three days and just spend some time with family. Taking a risk. 
risk doing some Black Friday shopping just to get out of the house and walk off some of these calories we just ate. It is crazy in here. I don't know what kind of Walmart we're at since we're not from here, but like half the police department is here on security. It's nuts. Let me see if I can get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where we at now? But Outside of Kohl's. This is store number 1500. I'm running out of energy. I'm at delirium at this point. I am exhausted. We've done a lot of walking. I think we burned off all the calories we ate, but then we picked up some just to keep our energy going. And I'm, I'm just ready to go. So right now we're waiting on our, on my sister-in-law, her sister, to come out. Black Friday is exhausting. It is. All of the waiting. Yeah. I did it just because I don't have to work Black Friday. I worked uh, in retail for 11 years. I was a manager and Black Friday was never a shopping day for me. It was a work day. So now I just go just because I can. Bad move today because I didn't think that we'd go to a hundred stores. So, um, still waiting. Carissa went in the store and bought something, right? It says, uh -oh. Here's another one of your favorite items this week. One of your favorite items, Carissa. What is it? Pampers. What if we went in there and bought Pampers? Their algorithm is wrong. One of your favorite items. Maybe somebody using my phone number. <laughs> you buying pants <laughs> Edit. <laughs> hey right. guys. Hey guys. We're out Black Friday shopping and Erica oh. stayed behind. So she's, I'm the new Erica right now. Yeah, he's the new Erica. He's replacing Erica for this moment because Erica stayed behind to record some new stuff that she's working on. Let's go for the hit us. Bloggers do <laughs> record everything. Exactly. Even if it doesn't make sense at the time. Exactly. I want that for the RV. My fake keyboard. Doing my fake work on my adjustable desk that's in the RV. So with it being Black Friday and we're just out and about shopping right now. It's really tempting to want to buy something because you're saving a lot of money, but us being in the RV prevents us from buying anything. Like I'm literally just out here spending time with family and letting them shop. And so that's the good part about the RV life is that uh, I don't feel tempted to buy anything. In the Except right. for Mountain Dew. Cause she legit has Mountain Dew on her right now. This is my Black Friday purchase. I think I got it for 89 cents. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida, but we are having fun. We are. Yeah. So we woke up early. Everybody in our hotel room is still knocked out. Yeah. We're like, let's get up early and shoot a video. And uh, as soon as we hit power on the camera, it started drizzling. So we're like, well, we got to keep going. So this is take two. So our plans have changed a little bit for the uh, for the coming year. year. Yeah, for the coming year. Um, Chris has got an extension on her contract, so we're going to be in Atlanta a little bit longer. Yeah. Yay. Yes. 
Yeah, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm working a really good contract right now in Atlanta and that got extended and that is a really good thing because that allows us to know what 2019 has for us because sometimes with these contracts, you know, they end abruptly uh, or they're really short, they're three months or six months and I'm looking for a contract again, which I usually don't mind. We plan for that. Oh, check out the pelican or seagull, whatever. So anyways, uh, usually my contracts are short and I'm looking for a contract again within a few months, which means we don't ever know what my hourly rate's gonna be because every contract is different. We don't know if I'm gonna have health benefits. We don't know if I'm gonna have 401k. There's so many unknowns with every contract. And so with this one, it's a really good contract um, and it got extended for most of 2019. So that takes a lot of uh, questions off the table because we have answers now. We know exactly what we're gonna get and we know how long we're gonna be there. And so that's really good. And so the only thing is that changes how we travel for 2019. Um, so and that's not a bad thing because now we could take short trips with the RV. Mm -hmm. We could just hop in the truck and go somewhere. Yeah. Um, or we could do like we did right now for Thanksgiving, you know. So Georgia is so close to so many um, states that we want to visit. Yeah, and so we can actually knock a lot of trips off our list, a lot of states off our list. When we were in Texas, you could drive all day and still be in Texas. <laughs> That's how big it is. And so I love the fact that we're in Atlanta and it's not too far from all these other places. Ex expanding on how Carissa said that, now we know how long our contract's gonna be and how much money we're going to be bringing in. It'll be easier for us to continue to pay down debt as we're on this journey. Yes. And we're gonna incorporate talking more about our finances while RVing into the videos. Yeah. Um, we didn't start our journey debt free. Um, and so we just want to talk to people about that, that you can live out your dreams and do what you want to do. Yeah. You just have to find a way. Yeah. A, a lot of people that we meet, especially uh, younger people around our age, they always make it seem like we're some exception to the rule. We're special and we're not. We have student loans. We have credit cards. You know, we have, we have debt just like most people our yeah. age do so a lot of people that we that we meet there are there is always these excuses oh well I can't do this because I have student loans well we do too well I can't do this because we I have a mortgage I had a mortgage once I mean there's there's so many things you could do to get where you want to be it's just you have to reframe your thinking and really think outside the box to get to where you're trying to go nothing's impossible really so we're going to share our finances with you guys and how we do that and how we budget yeah. to experience all of this. It's beautiful when you get outside of your, your comfort zone and your city and your state. You get outside of what you know and you see what else America has. It's just, I've been astounded. I did not know that there was any other state in the country than Texas <laughs> until I left Texas. I thought Texas was America. <laughs> yeah, but we, uh, we've we been having fun. We'll continue to have fun. And like I said, we're just going to uh, share more about our finances, how we're going on these trips with uh, this extended contract, mm -hmm. uh, and continue to show you where we're going and what we're experiencing. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. You'll get to see how we do that. Really? Oh, I see him. Yeah, I see him. <gasps> there is another one. There's nothing like seeing dolphins on your morning walk. <laughs> that was, that made my day. I can go back to bed now. 